Hello， 你大家好，又嚟到 C C 嘅 channel 啦。咁咧，上一集咧，我哋講過咧，黃金簽證喺葡萄牙入面咧係有、呃、所更改嘅，咁將會咧誒二零二二年實行嘅。咁我哋咧上次咧係請咗卡洛斯先生咧就答覆俾我哋一啲嘅問題啦，關於咧喺邊一個地區啦，佢會將會喺尼斯本或者葡萄波圖咧就停止誒俾、呃、你哋用嚟買樓做黃金簽證嘅。咁但係呢，誒卡洛斯先生呢就發現咗一個好大嘅新聞喎，因為佢係其實好多人呢都未發現到喺呢個法律嘅文章入面呢，佢有所差異嘅。咁誒，不如呢，我哋而家用英文講一講啦。咁然之後我就用廣東話同大家翻譯下嘅。So um, uh, thanks for coming, Dr. Carlos, and you have found out some information on the changes of golden visa. Last week we have interviewed you talking about the latest news. That we are no longer can use go to visa for 2022 buying property in Lisbon or Porto, right? But you have found something between the lines. Yes, that's correct. So last last week we just released a, a video where I explained the change of the golden visa.、Uh, actually, it was like the the first impressions of the of the decree that the the government just、uh, published on last Friday. And during the weekend,、um, as I've been confirming with other、uh, people and other investors and other real estate and lawyers as well, we also think that there's another window open for investment in Lisbon and Porto if you're not buying property for like houses. So it means what I, I I'd like to say and explain is after 2022 of January, so only next year when the law changes. Uh, and the refer to the law mentioned exactly that will change will be affect only houses. So people start asking, what about、uh, office? What about shops? So the law is very clear for us. Even the interpretation、uh, can give you some doubts. I believe that interpretation we are, we are looking at and the, what we understand will not affect the golden visa on on properties like office, as I said. Or or any kind of warehouse, shops, or even the because the the situation of the tourists is coming after the COVID. Everybody knows that tourists will come back, and people saying, okay, what about for tourists、uh, issues that we have like we have kind of hotels and house that we've been using as a tourist. It will be possible to acquire this this kind of houses for tourists. Uh, it's very interesting concept. Um, 即係話咧，阿卡洛斯生話咧，係上個 weekend 咧，佢誒上個週末嘅時候咧，佢係睇過咧，嗰、那個法律嘅條文入邊咧係講緊誒，將會有限制係喺買樓嗰方面。當你做黃金簽證二零二二年嘅時候咧，你唔可以再喺尼斯本同波度買樓啦。但係咧。講緊係住宅噶嘛，佢係冇講過咧話買鋪頭啦、商鋪啦、呃、停車場啦，或者、呃、其他商業用途嘅物誒產物嘅，亦都冇講過話咧關於例如酒店啦，或者係屋用嚟做酒店項目嘅一樣嘢。咁誒呢個佢已經同唔同嘅誒。呃組織咧傾過誒偈啦，即係例如咧地產商啦，或者其他嘅律師咧，亦都講過咧，應該咧係唔會講關於其他商業用途嘅物業咯。Does that mean that we are safe by 2022 to assume that we can buy property? Well,、uh, I can outside that sector. Okay, outside residential. Sector. I will not guarantee for the moment, as you know. Sometimes when there's a new law coming, we have several inter- interpretations about it. But for the ones that has been released, for me, is quite clear that they will affect the investors to buy only houses and not any other kind of properties, like I mentioned before. So office, warehouses, shops will not be affected. Nevertheless, I'd like to have some cautious on releasing this、uh, information because at this moment it's interpretation of myself and also a few other lawyers and other people connected to the real estate agents and market that are just looking to the law first time, and it's it's not kind of we're not finding a, a, a you know a way of go, going around. It's just what is clear or is not clear for us at this moment for me. 
it's very clear that it will affect only houses and will not affect any other kind of other properties. Carlos, the CC 三咧就講解咧，即係話係佢呢個本人同埋其他律師啦，同埋地產商嘅揣測喺對於呢一個法律嘅條例入邊咧，佢哋啊作出。喘息嘅啫，咁當然啦，誒呢一年之內合後咧，誒法律咧會有啲咩新嘅進展咧，有新啲咩改變咧，大家都不而可知啦。咁但係咧，暫時嚟講咧，喺居住宅區或者居民區外邊嘅唔同嘅方法去買樓啦，例如買啲誒商業用途嘅。誒產物咧，你仍然咧應該係可以喺尼斯本同埋波圖啦。咁當然啦，呢個講緊係二零二二年之後嘅生效嘅。My biggest question is, does that mean that you can buy Airbnb property? It's like this. On the documents when you buy, that's a chance.、Uh, but on the documents that refer what type of property、uh, will mention, that will be important. Will be requirement for buying that property for the golden visa purpose or not? We have several purposes for the house. When you buy a property, it can be for living. On this case, with its new law after 2020, it would not be legible.、Uh, but you can buy some property, like you've been using as a touristic place, and if on the documents shows that service, it will be legible for the golden visa. So it will be possibility that people in the future will start buying houses for Airbnb as well. That's my interpretation for now. 咁即係話咧，卡洛先生佢哋嘅傳釋咧，就係意思上咧，我哋應該仍然可以買誒 Airbnb 種類嘅物業啦。咁誒當然咧，你買咗之後咧，佢 Airbnb 嘅牌照咧係將會唔會係轉手，但係要你重新去誒申請呢個牌照嘅。咁如果你買呢個物業嘅時候咧，你之後嘅用途仍然係用 Airbnb 嘅話咧，以卡洛斯先生佢哋嘅傳釋係傳釋嚇。應該你仍然咧，二零二年嘅時候咧，你仍然就可以嚟私本咧度買誒 Airbnb 種類嘅物業啦。So there's something else you want to tell us, Dr. Carlos? So what I I'd like to explain at this moment, according to our interpretation during the weekend after the release of the the change of the law, that I repeat only after 2022 will have effect. It's at this moment we still have a window of people that after 2022 will be eligible to get golden visa if they buy office or shops or or any other kind of of property that is not for for living、uh, houses. Also, we can see、uh, on that window the opportunity of buying some properties that can be used on Airbnb, and the requirement will be. Uh, definitely mentioned on the documents of the property. So according to the documents, probably we'll find some documents that will can be、uh, used for golden visa. It's not for house living, but can be used for Airbnb for the clients who have some kind of business. 咁即係話咧，好緊要咧，就係當佢嘅嗰一個物業嘅文件上邊寫住嘅用途係乜嘢咧，你就可以用嚟買。如果係真係寫住商業用途嘅話咧，例如 A B B 嘅話咧，咁你就可以用誒放心咁去買二零二二年嘅時候。Okay, and there's something else you just want to say. Um, there was a, a on the news about Braga. Yeah, actually, Braga is one of of Portuguese cities in the north of the country. It was considered the best city in Europe to live.、Uh, has been、um, voted by millions and millions of people, and was the first place. Uh, even better than Paris or Rome or any other country, any other sorry, any other cities in 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 Europe. So, consider every year for the last five years in a row, Portugal has been winning with Portuguese cities the the best places to live in Europe. So it's it's also to congratulate、uh, Portugal again for having and doing a very nice job. Getting this kind of awards. Ah, Carlos, the teacher said, "Well, we have a city called Braga. So, we have won the award. It is a city in Europe that is the best or the best city to live in. It is called Braga. It won more awards than Rome and Paris. So it's good, yeah. 咁啊，好多謝誒，卡洛斯先生嘅嚟到啦。Thank you very much for your visit and great news because、uh, we are the first people to report it. So thank you once again. Thank you. 多謝曬，多謝你收睇。我哋係第一次誒
搶先，為你帶來葡萄牙黃金簽證嘅新聞。再見。